Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show how you can mine in hostile space, no matter which space it is. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a place where I can mine crystal. Since I'm an enemy of the Klingon Empire, I need to send my envoy there so it can long-term mine crystal. If you see, we're looking at the time above the envoy. We want to make sure that that time uh, doesn't isn't smaller than the time of the attacking vessel that we're going to be using. And on Eta L1, I go to the part where it shows how long it'll take for the NS to hit the outer diameter of the system. I make sure that's 10 to 15 seconds higher than the time of the envoy to get here. And then right now it's just a waiting game. So you see that the uh, envoy will get here before the NS does. All right, so we're skipping ahead. And now the envoy is about to enter. The envoy is entering the system. There we go, it warped in. And now we have to wait for the NS. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the envoy here. And now any moment now, since we got the alert that we're in hostile territory, that it's gonna send a hostile after us. And there's the hostile. It's quite strong. So of course the my 45K envoy can't take it on. Um, it's a good idea to just avoid it while it's coming at me and wait for the NS to get here. I'm gonna speed this up for a moment so we can wait for the NS to arrive. Okay, so here's my NS coming into the uh, system, and he's coming straight, and I sent him straight at the uh, hostile that's going to take out my envoy. Boom. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not my ship lived or died, as long as I hit hit it and either I sacrificed or the, uh, or the hostile died, the ship that you sent in first will no longer be a target. So now I'm gonna send my NS home and now I'm free to uh, mine around the system as I please uh, without any more hostiles attacking me. Oh, and look, there's a free node. Gonna go for it. <laughs> 